Welcome back everybody, it's Deborah. So today I wanted to review the um, Spectrum Noir colouring system, the 24 pack, the pastels. I've not actually seen any reviews on these, so I just decided to buy them hoping that they're okay. Like I've said in previous videos, I have got the um, 80 kind of Ohuhu markers, but the pastel selection in that pack is, is rubbish really. So I'm going to swatch them all out in the colour chart. I've just got a scratch piece of paper at the back because I know that they are going to bleed through with being alcohol markers. So you've got three trays of markers. So we'll go through them one by one. And like I said, I'm just hoping that they're just light and pastel colours. They haven't got anything like that. They're a little bit hard to get out. The actual packaging is really nice. Um, shiny black, I would have preferred it to be white. Because black does tend to, I mean, you can see the scratch, there's a scratch there already, and I've only just took it out of the package, so we'll see anyway. So we'll start off. I will do it by order. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll zoom in just so you can see a bit better. So what's this one? HB1. Hey. One. That's a little bit darker than I was hoping, but we'll see. Not on three. This is nice. This is a nice pastel green. So this is I B one. I B one. If you can hear the little tappers in the background, it's Evie probably. Yeah, it's Eva, my Chihuahua. So we've got a nice blue, which is GT1. Oh, it's more, it's more of a minty blue, actually. So GT1. LY2, nice yellow. LY2. Yeah, that yellow and, and the green is a lot nicer, but them two are quite similar. Nice green here. DG1. See, it's not green, it's yellow. It's a good job I am swatching these out. Look at the colour. That's green to me, and it's just swatched out yellow. That's strange. So DG1. I probably should have done the names in pen, but they all. So FS1, which I think this is more of a skin tone, darker skin tone. FS1. I know these, these alcohol markers are on the, the cheaper end of uh, alcohol markers. Well, they're more middle, middle to cheaper, aren't they? They're not as cheap as or who who, but they're not as expensive as Colpic. Uh, FS4. Oh, that's another peachy skin tone. And this looks like a nice baby pink colour. If I can find the camera. FS7. FS7. These three colours do look quite similar. That middle one actually is picking up on camera a lot more brighter. So I'll just move you up a little bit. Right, next tray. I didn't even think to buy a separate pencil case for these. Right, so we've got IG3. IG3. Which that is not a pastel. That's a grey. Got HB3, HB3. I think they might need to change some of the names to this one because it's definitely not a pastel pack. I don't think. Um, the lids are quite hard to actually push and shut. This is LG2. LG2. This is quite a nice colour actually. Nice kiwi green. So, 
L Y three. TN1, I thought that said TNT, <laughs> TN1, TN1, this one's nice, I like this one, very peachy, I would definitely use that one as a skin tone, I know, it, I know it's coming up on camera as more grey but it is quite light that one, we've got GB2, GB2, again I like this one, Nice pink, uh, CR3. Oh, this one's lovely. This will be nice as a blush. What did I say? CR3. CR3. That's the last of the second tray. PP2. So I'll move you up. PP2. That's very nice as well. That is a true pink. So we'll start on the top row again. So last tray. Got FS5. Another pretty pink, FS8, FS8, oh I like, I like that one, I think that one's my favourite so far, I do like a good pink, so we've got FS9, Tonight's the first night as well that I've actually managed to sit down at the dining table because it's been too painful for the past well, it'll be a week a week tomorrow since I've had my surgery. So it's nice to actually sit down here and not colour in bed. Uh, LG1. Oh, I didn't write the name of that one. It's only me. FS9. FS9. You could have told me. <laughs> so this one's LG1. Uh, L G one. That one is a very nice green. I do like actually. Now that it's dried, it is definitely a mint green. But them two shades are too similar, in my opinion. Mm. L Y one. L Y one. I mean, if you've not got any markers. And, and you're after a set, I would definitely recommend these. I mean, obviously, I've not done a, a picture with them yet. But let's like say you've got the, a lot of culprits or a big set of the Oh Hoo Hoo markers. I'm not sure whether it would be worth getting these. But like I said, I've not properly tested them yet, so I'm not really giving them a fair chance. But there are some colours in here that I've definitely not got. And it'll be interesting to see how long they actually last. So BT3, BT3, the swatches as you can see that's more of a blue and it's not, it's a dark green. So definitely swatch them out before you actually plan to colour with them. Right, so last two, I've got two greys. We've got uh, BH2, move the camera up a tad. B, oh. H2, it's not a grey at all, it is a purple. That's a nice colour, that one. So, if this one isn't grey, I'm guessing it's going to be another purple. So that one is, no, it's grey. B, G, R, T. I'm a bit disappointed that they didn't put any nice names on them, just, you know, just the numbers, but anyhow. But yeah, that is the Spectrum Noir colouring system 
all swatched out. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.